Now, there's a lot of people producing content now using AI software such as ChatGPT or Claude or software like Jasper or Copy.ai, Writer.com, all these other different writing softwares using AI. And they don't want to be detected as using AI to write this content. So how can you humanize your content and basically get it to pass some of the most difficult AI content detector software that's out there? Well, I'm going to show you in this video. So first of all, I have got some articles here that are written with AI. I'm using FastBots, uh, which is AI chatbot software. There's a link underneath this video if you want to use that to do your writing. And what we've done is we've got four articles here and I've written the exact same instruction. Please write me an article that does this, this and this to the four different language models that I've got here. And as you can see, we've got uh, the brand new Claude 3 uh, Sonnet and Opus, the most intelligent large language model in the world at the moment, and then GPT-4 Turbo and GPT-4. So they've all written a good article for me. And here you go. So I've put, can you write me a blog post? 700 to 1,000 uh, 1, words long. And then we've got that there article written out and it looks really good and it reads really well. This one's with Claude 3 Sonnet, which has just uh, come out. So I'm going to take this content right here. There's the title and there's the main body of content. And now I'm going to go and use a few different scanners. This one is originality.ai, perhaps one of the most popular um, there is. We won't bother checking um, plagiarism and readability, but I'm just going to paste that in and then get it to to uh, tell me whether it thinks that that is AI generated. While it's working its way through that, oh, it's done it already, 73% AI it thinks that that is. So that would be a pretty much a fail if you were trying to uh, use that content for just uh, as passing it off as human. Here's another one. This one's zerogpt.com. Let's see what it says about that. And that's pretty quick. And that's just come up with 100% AI generated text. So no good at all. Next one we've got here is content at scale. We'll just cross that off and let's see what that says with their AI detector. And that says reads like AI. So that's not good. Um, and here's another one called cross plague. Let's just check that and see what that one comes up with. Hang tight while we analyze your text. Bam, 100% AI. So creating content with any kind of large language model basically is a nightmare if you're trying to remain undetected and bypass this kind of software that detects AI. So what's the solution? The solution is this. Uh, undetectable. There is a link underneath this video if you want to try this out. All we do is just paste in the article right here. So here it is, exact same one I put in all the AI detectors. And then I've chosen the readability level of university, purpose, general writing. And we press uh, this magic button here that says humanize. And then it should just take, you know, anything up to 20 odd seconds to just take that content, rewrite it in a way that appears to be human to the AI detection software. So there it is. It's done it right now. It gives you a convenient button to just press copy output. And now we will rescan that content and see um, if it works. OK, so we're going to uh, delete off what we have here. And with originality, the last uh, article that we put in was 73% AI. So I'm now going to paste in this content. Here it is. That's just been uh, copied straight from undetectable. And then it's changed the title to discover fresh revenue opportunities with customizable AI chatbot. So nice title and everything makes sense. And then what we do is press scan again. So now let's see how well this does. Hopefully it should do the job. That is, oh, there you go. 98% original and 2% AI. So it has done it with that AI detector, but can it do it with this one that previously detected 100% AI content? Well, we'll paste it in again like that and then click detect text and let's see how well that does. There you go. So it is coming up as a basically 91% human content and only coming up as 9.44% there of uh, AI generated content, which is perfectly fine. 
Next, we're going to try uh, content at scale. The last time it said it reads like AI. Well, let's refresh this, paste in our new version used uh, with uh, undetectable. Click for uh, AI content and there we are, passes as human. And finally, uh, which one have we got here? We've got a whole list of them. Here we go, cross plug. Let's paste that in now. The last time, 100% uh, AI content. It was very, very clear on that. And there we go, 0% AI content. And so it does a really good job of mixing things up. And that is, uh, as I say, undetectable. There's a link underneath this video if you want to go and try that out. It does a really good job. And you can see at the bottom there, it talks about the different uh, detectors and whether or not this would pass with all of those. And, you know, to be fair, we have just tried it out and it really did. So a uh, very, very uh, good system. Now, what about the very best technology at the moment for doing writing? That's got to be Claude 3 Opus. It's just beaten every other large language model in the benchmarks for its intelligence. Better than GPT-4, better than Google's Gemini. Well, I did the same instruction for that one. I put, can you please write me a 700 to 1000 word long article and so on. And it's done some formatting there and everything. It looks a bit different. Well, let's see if that also, even with its high level of uh, AI intelligence, can that pass a detector? Well, I'll paste it in here now. You can see we've got all our formatting still as well. And let's scan that and see how well it does. Or do we really need some other software? And there we are, we do. 99% AI. It just fails miserably. So there we have it then. It is needed. We need undetectable if you want to make sure that your AI generated content passes as human. There's a link underneath this video and uh, you can go and try it out for free. That's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.